So when you think of Quakers, what do you think of? Oats? <laughs> William Penn. <laughs> <laughs> well, believe it or not, Quakerism on Delmarva goes back as far as the earliest European settlements of the area in 1658. In fact, one of the original Quaker meeting houses still stands in Talbot County. It's the second oldest documented building in the state of Maryland. This patch of land sits in the middle of downtown Easton, but it's hardly bustling with activity. And it's been that way for more than 300 years. In 1682, the Third Haven Friends House was built here. There were no roads. People traveled either by horseback or by boat. They traveled here for meetings of the Religious Society of Friends, or Quakers. Candace Shattuck and Marcy Hawkinsons are both friends here and are instrumental in keeping the meeting house history alive. It was actually built as what we call a half yearly meeting, which meant that people gathered, friends would come, it was almost like a camp meeting. They'd come for and stay together for a week. The Religious Society of Friends was founded in the mid-17th century in England by George Fox, who was said to be dissatisfied with the teachings of the Church of England. Quakerism grew out of a period of great religious unrest in England that resulted in the execution of the king, the bringing on of the Puritans, and there were a number of dissenting groups. In a nutshell, there's that of God in every person. And this is the basis of our peace testimony, because if you attack or kill another person or go to war, the people you're killing have that of God in them also. In the early 1660s, Quaker communities were established throughout the northeast of this country. It's believed that founder George Fox actually visited this area in 1673. Candace says other famous visitors actually visited the meeting house, including William Penn and Lord and Lady Baltimore. It's hard to define, but you can feel the presence of people who have been here before for generations and generations and generations. There's a feeling of continuity and stability and peacefulness that you don't often find. And this, this piece of land is pretty much untouched. Quakerism was on the rise in the late 16th century, especially in Talbot County. So in 1797, the building was made wider by extending the rafters on one side. But the updates ended there. This building, being the, as old as it is, has never been updated. So it has no electricity, no plumbing, no heat, nothing, you know, none of those comforts that we, uh, that we now expect. That's why in 1880, a second meeting house was built. So we continue to use that building in the cold weather. But as soon as the weather is comfortable enough for modern sensibilities, <laughs> uh, we come over here. So it's basically mid-April to mid-October. But it became apparent some 110 years later that something had to be done to restore the aging structure. Marcy says the meeting house was built on brick piers with no foundation. The building was sinking. So the Maryland Historic Trust gave us a grant and then there were people in the community there were members of the meeting but many people in the community recognized the value of the building and contributed to it as well that set forth a restoration project that actually raised the building so a foundation could be built underneath and I think they thought they could just lift it but it began to buckle a little so they took off every one of the siding boards numbered them you know, store them, number them so that they could replace them in the right order and very careful restoration was done. Hopefully giving this seven acres of Delmarva history at least another 300 years of life. Now you heard Candace say people traveled to the Third Haven Friends meeting by boat. That's because back then the Tread Avon River actually passed along the land. By the way, the Tread Avon used to be called Third Haven. Well, that's old. I, never, I didn't know it. I didn't know it. Well, I, obviously, I didn't know anything about yeah. that. But that's an old building. It is a very old imagine. building. Well, something else that's been around for longer than you may have expected. Troll beads still ahead on Delmarva Life. We'll get the history behind these one-of-a-kind handmade pieces of art. 
find out how they're made and why Delmarva is one of the only places you can get your hands on some rare beef. And I can't wait to get my hands on this. Today we're in the Delmarva Life Kitchen making pan roasted catfish topped with fried okra and a lime creole rumelade. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.